I'm going to show you a few secrets that nobody noticed in the new Brookhaven update. For the first secret, I need to access this secret part of the Brookhaven Hospital. Look at this. I need to get in here, and there's a poster of the agency. I need to click on this poster. Perfect. Then the poster starts to burn. Look at that. That's very, very scary. But that's not all. After I click on that poster, something happens in Brookhaven's bookstore. If I look up here at this bookcase with the free camera, I can see a red book. How cool is that? And this red book only appears after I press the button on that poster in Brookhaven Hospital. Can I get hold of this red book? Look, the red book is here. Yes, I can get that red book. And the coolest thing is that this red book is literally the same book that's on Brookhaven's new pirate ship. I need to get to Brookhaven's ocean so I can put on the new pirate ship. Perfect. I've reached the ocean, and now I just need to put on the new pirate ship, which is this boat here. Unfortunately, this boat needs a game pass to be able to use it, which in this case is this game pass. Perfect. I go inside the boat and look at this. There's literally the same book in my hand. This secret is very, very cool, and I'm sure not many people realize it. And here on the boat, there's also a secret. If you look at this treasure map, it looks like there's a monster here. That's very scary. It's a treasure map that shows where the treasure is for the pirates. I'm at Brookhaven Hospital again because here in the hospital, there's one more secret I want to show you. If I access this x-ray room, there's a secret passage here. I think everyone knows that. But look, here's a letter. And here's a huge text of that letter. And I believe this is a letter from the Brookhaven Agency. And everyone also knows that if I click down here, I can access this secret location. This is very old. This secret has existed in Brookhaven for a long time. And for me to get out of here, all I have to do is click down here on the chair. And that's it. I'm teleported to Brookhaven Lake. That's certainly very, very cool. However, I want to show you another incredible secret involving the pirate ship. That's why I'm going to need to use the pirate ship. And for me to be able to do that, I need to become a pirate, right? That's why I've opened the avatar editor here, and I'm going to search for pirate. That way, various pirate accessories will appear. I'll put on this pirate hat. That's it. Now I also need to put on this pirate cape. I think it looks really good. This cape, I think it's from Blocks Fruits because it's very similar. Now all I have to do is put on my pirate outfit. Perfect. I'm already becoming a pirate here in Brookhaven. That's it. I finally become a pirate in Brookhaven. All pirates are very, very brave. That's why I also need to put on a brave face. I think this one's pretty good. No, not really. The pirate looks like he's crying. Perfect. Now I've become Brookhaven's bravest pirate. Pirates live on the islands of Brookhaven because it's very, very close to the ocean. I'm going to put my house here. And the only pirate house on Brookhaven is the castle. That's why I'm going to put this huge castle. Look at this castle. It's very, very protected. So I'm sure that no enemy pirate will be able to break into my castle. Now I just need to put up my pirate ship. I've placed my pirate ship, but it's so big that it's completely bugged. I want to find out if there are any secret passages on this island so that I can hide my ship because no pirate ship can be visible. Otherwise, the enemy pirates might attack me. Look, I've activated the free camera, and I'm going to find out if there are any secret passages on this island. Apparently not. There's nowhere I can hide my pirate ship, unfortunately. That's why I'm going to have to fix it. Because my pirate ship can't be visible. Otherwise, any pirate could come and steal my pirate ship. That certainly wouldn't be nice. But before I show you a secret place to store your pirate ship, I'm going to show you a secret inside this house. It's the castle. This house holds many secrets that I'm going to show you. I first need to access the second floor of this house. I'm already on the second floor of this house. And this house has many hiding places. For example, in this room, there's a hiding place behind this painting. And look, here's a poster of a bandit. Look at that. I think it's a pirate bandit. That's very, very scary. And also, back to the first floor. There's also one more very, very scary secret. I need to find the fireplace. Here's the fireplace. Now I have to climb on top of the fireplace. Look at this. There's also a secret space here. But in addition to this secret space, there's also another fireplace in this house. Yes, there are two fireplaces. And the other one is here near this dining room. I also need to go up here and look at this. There's also a letter here. I think this letter was also written by a pirate. Now I'm going to show you a very scary place. If I go down one more floor in this castle, I'll have access to this prison. Very scary. But if I open this cell, I can also access a secret key, which is here on this wall. I just need to find out how to open a secret door so that I can access the key. Perfect. I managed to find it. Perfect. I managed to get the secret key. Now I want to find out if this secret key does anything on my pirate ship. If I can open any secret passages on my boat. No way. I literally fell into the lake of my own house. Perfect. Here's my pirate ship and I'm going to find out if I can do anything with this key. No, apparently I can't do anything with this key. I'm going to find out if I can open the cage with this key. No, there's no way I can open it either. So I think this key is literally useless because I can't do anything on my pirate ship. I think this secret is completely useless. But the secret I'm going to show you now is very cool because it's a secret place to store the pirate ship in Brookhaven. That's why I open Roblox Studio and here I can completely modify the map of Brookhaven. And look, here in Roblox Studio, I've added several boats, but they're not pirate boats. That's why I'm going to add a pirate ship. Look, I found this pirate ship, but I don't
don't think it works because this ship is very, very ugly. I'm also going to remove all these modern boats because in my Brookhaven, there won't be any modern boats. There will only be pirate boats and this submarine. I really like this submarine. Perfect. I've already put in this pirate ship, which I'm sure doesn't work. Now I'm going to put in another pirate ship. Wow. Look at this. The size of this pirate ship. This pirate ship is huge. It's certainly bigger than the pirate ship in Brookhaven. And I'm also going to put on a small pirate ship, which is this one. Perfect. I think I've put in enough pirate boats. I don't think anything else is needed. However, I do need to modify Brookhaven Island because I want to create a secret place for the pirate ships to park. On this island, there is a secret button, which teleports me to another location, but I need to hide the boat. That's why I'm going to remove that button and make a parking lot on this island. Perfect. I've already made my parking lot for the pirate boats. Apparently, everything is normal, but I'm going to show you how my secret pirate boat parking lot works right now. I'm going to test my Brookhaven. I'm going to test if these pirate boats work too. Perfect. I'm off to Brookhaven Beach using my SpongeBob car. It's a lot of fun. I love it. No way. I crashed my SpongeBob car. I don't think a pirate should be using a SpongeBob car, right? But I'm a modern pirate because I'm different. Perfect. Here are the pirate boats I put in. Now I'm going to find out if this first pirate ship works. Wow, look at that. The cannon actually fires. Wow, that's really cool. This is where I think I'm supposed to fly this pirate ship, but unfortunately, it's not working. I can't fly this pirate ship because look at it. It doesn't do anything. I'm trying to steer it, but it won't move. No way. This pirate ship looks like it's flying. Look at it. It's moving, but it's not walking, so it becomes completely useless. This pirate ship, it looks like a Lego pirate ship, and I'm sure it doesn't work. There's nowhere for me to steer it. This other pirate ship, I hope it works. I just need to figure out how I'm going to get up there because there's no ladder for me to climb. Fortunately, I have an administrator command, so I'll write a command to fly. I'll get on the boat, and now I'll stop flying. That way, I've done it. And I think this is where I fly this boat. I finally found a pirate ship that really works. Now I'm going to show you the secret boat parking lot I've created. Look at this. It's on this island here, and it really works. Look, I just need to put my boat here. No chance I crashed my boat. Is there any way I can steer this boat backwards? Apparently not, because it's very difficult to steer this boat. I've done it. I'm managing to steer this boat. I just need to put it in my secret parking space. But this is proving to be a very difficult task, because it's very hard to steer this pirate ship. Perfect, I've done it. I did it. I managed to get my pirate ship into my secret parking lot. Look at that. I can literally get inside this mountain. That way, no pirate will find me in there. The only problem is that it's very difficult to steer this pirate ship, so that's why I can't park it perfectly. I did it. I put my pirate ship inside the mountain that is my secret parking lot. And apparently, it's not so well hidden, because I can see the pirate ship's flags. But it's practically hidden. Now I'm going to pilot this giant ship. This is the biggest pirate ship in Brookhaven, and I'm going to find out if it works right now. The only problem is that the ladder is too high. I can't reach it either. That's why I'll need to fly again. Perfect. That way I only have to stop flying. Now I'll try to steer this giant boat. Wow! I've discovered a hiding place in this boat. How cool! Yes, it works too. There's obviously no way I can put this boat in my pirate boat parking lot. Because look at the size of this boat. Surely anyone can see this boat from far away. Because it's huge. It's literally giant. But I'm gonna try to put it in my parking lot anyway. I'll find out what happens. Not a chance. I crashed my pirate ship. Wow. It's crashing a lot. This boat is very, very big. It's practically impossible to steer this boat because it's so huge. I can't park my boat because there's already another boat in the parking lot. But the important thing is that this giant boat really works. It's very slow. Certainly the slowest boat and also certainly the biggest boat because it's giant. I also want to find out if these cannons work. No, the cannons don't work. Wow, this one works. There's a button here that I need to press. Ooh, it really works. Look at that. That's cool. I'll try this one too. Wow, it really works. Very, very cool. This boat is so big that it even crashes my computer. Wow, not a chance. I think I'm going to fall off the map. I can't believe it. This pirate ship is also a flying boat because my boat is flying because I'm not in the water anymore. What matters is that it's flying and it's really working. That's what matters. Look at this. I'm able to fly this pirate ship literally in the air because it's flying. If you like this video, leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Bye.